The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. What if the most powerful telescope in history has just revealed something we weren't supposed to see? What if everything we thought we knew about the universe, its origins, its laws, even its very nature, was suddenly thrown into question? For decades, astronomers have relied on the same frameworks, building models that explained the cosmos with neat beginnings and predictable rules. But the James Webb Space Telescope has started to show us something different, something stranger, and something that doesn't fit inside the picture we've been painting for a hundred years. Scientists are now confronting evidence that challenges the very foundations of cosmology. Some of the brightest minds in the field have begun asking questions that would have sounded outrageous just a few years ago. What if our universe is not what we thought it was? What if the Big Bang was not the simple beginning we've always believed? And what if the structures Webb has uncovered mean we need to rewrite the story of existence itself? Let's dive into this latest discovery. From the first months of its mission, Webb delivered discoveries that nobody was prepared for. Its infrared vision cut through the cosmic fog of the early universe, revealing galaxies and black holes at ages and distances that defied every timeline in the standard model. Scientists expected to find baby galaxies, tiny, chaotic clumps of stars slowly forming in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Instead, they found massive, mature systems already in place, galaxies that looked more like today's Milky Way than like infants of a young universe. Recently, a team led by Pablo Perez Gonzalez at the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid identified nine mysterious light sources at the very edges of the observable universe. Six of them sit at a redshift of 17, and three reach an astonishing redshift of 25. To understand what this means, remember that redshift is the stretching of light as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the farther away something is, and the further back in time we are looking. Redshift 17 takes us to just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Redshift 25 takes us to around 100 million years after it, an era when, according to our models, the universe should have been dark, startless, and empty. This period has long been called the Cosmic Dark Ages. After the initial burst of the Big Bang, the universe was a searing plasma of particles. It took hundreds of thousands of years for that plasma to cool into atoms, and then another hundred million years before stars and galaxies could form. During the Dark Ages, the cosmos was silent, featureless, and invisible. Nothing should have been shining. But Webb's images suggest otherwise. These newly detected light sources are blazing across the sky from a time when nothing should exist. They are not galaxies as we know them, and they are not stars in the conventional sense. If our current models are correct, they should not be visible at all. So what are they? That's the mystery shaking the world of astronomy. One possibility gaining traction is that these are primordial black holes formed immediately after the Big Bang. Unlike the black holes we know today, born from the deaths of stars, primordial black holes could have emerged directly from the extreme densities of the newborn universe. If so, they could be the hidden engines of light at redshift 17 and 25. Andrea Ferrara, an astrophysicist in Pisa, has argued that if stars cannot explain this level of luminosity so early, then something else must be producing it. Primordial black holes may be the only candidates. If that's true, the implications are staggering. Decades ago, Stephen Hawking proposed that primordial black holes might not only illuminate the earliest chapters of the cosmos, but could also serve as gateways to other universes. In his vision, information swallowed by black holes isn't destroyed. It's carried somewhere else. 
If these strange points of light are indeed primordial black holes, they may be more than relics of our own universe's infancy. They may be evidence that other universes exist. But that's not the only strange discovery. Astronomers have also noticed a class of objects they call little red dots. At first, they were thought to be small, compact galaxies. But follow-up observations overturned that idea. They don't behave like galaxies at all. Instead, a radical theory has emerged. These little red dots could be black hole stars. Unlike any object in today's universe, a black hole star would form when a gigantic early star collapses. At its heart, a black hole forms. But instead of swallowing the entire star, the outer layers remain intact. The result is a hybrid object, a star with a black hole for a core, radiating enormous amounts of energy before collapsing completely. If true, Webb may be capturing a fleeting stage of cosmic evolution once thought to be unobservable. The deeper Webb looks, the more it unsettles. It has even spotted evidence suggesting the expansion of the universe may be slowing down. For decades, the prevailing belief was that expansion was accelerating, driven by a mysterious force called dark energy. But Webb's findings hint at a more complicated picture. Some regions may be expanding differently than others, suggesting dark energy is not uniform. If this trend continues, expansion could eventually halt and reverse, leading to a catastrophic big crunch where the universe collapses back on itself. And even before this, astronomers were already grappling with tensions in their measurements. The Hubble tension showed that the expansion rate of the universe appears faster when measured nearby than when inferred from the cosmic microwave background. The S8 tension showed that galaxies clump together less than models predict. Each of these tensions was already a headache. Webb is making them unavoidable. And then there's the most mind-bending discovery of all. When scientists analyzed the spin of over 30,000 galaxies, they found that most were rotating in the same direction. According to the Big Bang model, the early universe should have been chaotic, with galaxies spinning randomly. But Webb shows otherwise. Even more astonishing, the further back astronomers looked, the stronger this alignment became. In the earliest stages, galaxies were even more synchronized. This raises a possibility so bold that for many years it was considered almost unthinkable. What if the universe itself has a spin? What if the cosmos is not perfectly uniform and directionless as we have always assumed, but instead carries a subtle rotation built into it very fabric? If that is the case, then the entire framework of modern cosmology is incomplete. All of the neat models that assume a perfectly isotropic, directionless universe would be missing a crucial ingredient. And if the universe truly does spin, even ever so slightly, it opens the door to a radical and unsettling idea that we may, in fact, be living inside a black hole. The theory unfolds like this. Instead of erupting outward from a single point of infinite density in a clean Big Bang, the universe may have been born within the event horizon of a massive black hole that formed in some greater external reality. The event horizon of that black hole would appear to us as the edge of our cosmos, the limit beyond which no information can escape and no observation can reach. Everything we know, every galaxy, every star, every particle of light and radiation exists inside this immense boundary. Beyond it, in a realm forever hidden from our instruments, may lie the parent universe that collapsed and gave rise to our own. In this picture, we are not witnessing the after-effects of an explosion from nothing, but the unfolding of a rebirth, the interior growth of a black hole turned universe. Researchers at the University of Portsmouth have recently put forward arguments supporting such a model. Their view is that our cosmos may not have emerged from an unexplicable singularity that suddenly appeared from nowhere, but rather from matter in another universe that collapsed under its own gravity. That collapse reached an unimaginable density, curved space-time to its breaking point, and then rebounded outward in expansion. 
What we describe today as the Big Bang may not have been the true beginning of time, but simply the bounce from the birth of a black hole in a larger reality. This interpretation replaces the mystery of a singular start with a continuous chain of cause and effect. If that sounds unsettling, that is because it is. It means the bedrock assumptions of cosmology, the ones we have treated as almost sacred truths, are no longer stable. Dark matter, once considered the invisible glue of the cosmos, is under attack. Dark energy, the driver of acceleration, may not be constant at all. The Big Bang itself, the most iconic event in science, may not be a beginning, but just a phase in a longer cycle. And even the cosmic microwave background, long regarded as the leftover glow of creation, may need to be reinterpreted. And every time Webb points its mirrors toward the deep sky, the story grows stranger. Instead of providing clarity, Webb has raised sharper questions. Instead of closing the book, it has revealed new chapters. Each observation, each spectrum, each strange galaxy is not a neat conclusion, but another cliffhanger. Another reason to doubt that we have the full picture. Far from simplifying the tale of the cosmos, Webb has made it more complex, more unstable, and infinitely more mysterious than we ever dared to believe. So where does this leave us? We are at a turning point. The universe we thought we understood is slipping through our fingers. Dark matter may not be real in the way we thought. Dark energy may not be constant. The cosmic microwave background may not be a relic of the Big Bang. Galaxy spins are aligned when they should not be. And some of the most brilliant physicists alive are seriously considering that our universe is inside a black hole. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to provide answers, but its greatest achievement may be the questions it has forced us to ask. Every time we believed the story was solved, Webb turned the page to reveal a deeper mystery. Every image, every spectrum, every detection is not a conclusion, but a cliffhanger, another puzzle, another layer. Maybe that is the ultimate lesson. The universe is not a finished equation or a closed book. It is an unfolding story with no final chapter, only endless layers waiting to be uncovered. So what do you think? Are we witnessing the end of the Big Bang as the dominant story of cosmology? Are we living inside a black hole, one bubble in a sea of universes beyond our view? Or are we simply scratching the surface of a reality too vast to ever fully comprehend? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy for more discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe. Because one thing is certain, the cosmos isn't finished surprising us. In fact, its strangest secrets may still lie just beyond the next observation.